Shalom Akim. Yahabashim El Shai Barakatham. Bashim Rakal Kodash. Kol Haloyim. Yahabashim El Shai. Kol Haloyim. Yahabashim El Shai. Bashim Rakal Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule and teach well. Peace and Shalom to the Akim out there and the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children selected to make it out of here from the coming nuclear destruction, all right? A fitting place for this place, okay? A coming nuclear destruction, all right? Let me, let me, as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and get that, all right? And the scripture says, making them an example. All right, now this is Second Peter, all right? Uh, two... In verse 5 and in a minute you're going to see why I'm getting this all right it's not gonna be a long video there's a couple of uh, points based off of what a bro in the camp just sent me uh, two bros you know an elder bro and then another bro another beautiful brother in the camp okay this is a uh, second Peter 2 and verse 5 and spare not the old world but save nor the eighth person a preacher of righteousness bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly okay and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an ensample unto those that after should live ungodly, that should live wickedly. Because with a lot of wickedness going on in Sodom and Gomorrah, and it's no different now, okay? There's no different now, all right, in America and other places like America, okay? Verse 7, and deliver just lot because the lord is going to only deliver the just all right when the angels come back under yahweh shai they're going to deliver the, the scriptures talks about how it's going to what separate the wicked from among the just okay the just all right the ones that have faith the righteous observing the, the divine law salakia those are going to be delivered okay and delivered just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. All right. Now let's look at this in the NLT. All right. It says, but the Most High also rescued Lot out of Sodom. We need to be rescued out of here. Okay. Like the scripture says, unto the Lord belongeth the issues of death. Issues, what? Deliverances. Because this place is death. This is the valley of the shadow of death. But the Most High also rescued Lot out of Sodom because he was righteous. Or he was a righteous man who was sick of the shameful immorality of the wicked people around him. And that's what we are. Okay. We are sick of the wicked immorality. Okay. Or the, or the shameful immorality of the wicked people around us. We're sick of it, man. It's, it's sick. It's disgusting. You know. Start with our elders and apostles on down. We are crying, Lord, please deliver us. How long, O Lord, will we stay here in this wicked place, man? All right? Look at the NKJV. It says, and delivered righteous Lot, who was oppressed by the filthy conduct of the wicked. He was oppressed by the filthy conduct of the wicked. All right? We're oppressed here. Surely oppression make up a wise man mad. Now, when you look at this, it says, uh, this was sent by the Elder Monagon. Okay, Shalom to the big bro. Black Hebrew Israelitism is becoming a problem. You see? All right. Right here, black, black Hebrew Israelitism is becoming a problem. All right, look at the comments. I'm going to play a little bit of it, then play some of the comments. You following the Kyrie Irving situation? I think it's starting to reveal that the black Hebrew Israelite slash anti-Semitism view may be very prevalent within among NBA players. <sighs> yeah, look, okay. I don't know how many times I have to say this. You know, every time I say it, people are like, oh, you can't say that because you're white. But, you know, I that's just me, just the bold, daring individual who's willing to go further to do something no white man has ever done before and criticize the black community. <laughs> See this damn devil like he's doing something different. All they do is criticize. All they do is tear us down. All right. All they do is tear us down. All they do is stop us from being a nation as thus saith the scriptures. That's all they do. All right. Now, you notice with these devils, they never tell you the exact anti-Semitism that happened. All right. They just say you're an anti-Semite or you're anti-Semitism. 
okay? Which they don't even know what that word, those two words collectively mean, okay? But they never tell you what was done. You just keep, when you look at these comments, they keep recycling the same things over and over and over and just saying, you're an anti-Semite. And then you say, well, what is that? Uh, you're, you're an anti-Semite. They just say it over again. These devils need to be questioned on what exactly is the anti-Semitism, okay? All right, these devils need to be questioned on what does anti-Semitism mean in itself, all right? Now, look at, the, look at this. Look at these comments, all right? And this really isn't, this isn't what the video is off of. It's really off of something that I'm about to show you, all right? Now, it says, uh, look at this. I'm so glad, and just so you can see the video again and where I got it from. It says, I'm so glad you're speaking about this. My cousin unfortunately fell into being diluted, all right, into black Hebrew Israelite ideology, all right? What scares me, which is more than the ideology, all right, it's, you know, it's more than an ideology, a study of ideas, so on and so forth, okay? It's who we are as a nation of people, all right? You said into black, he, see, black is not even who we are, but yet you people keep calling us this, all right? You constantly keep calling us something that we're not. And the moment that we raise up and realize that it's falsehood and we wake up to the truth through the spirit of Yahweh Shema was shy, it's a problem. All right. It says, uh, what scares me is I have no idea of how to pull him out of his anti-Semitic beliefs. Again, people and Jake, Jake falling right behind Esau's simple ass. And they don't even know what anti-Semitic means. Because they don't believe in looking up words. You're of your father, the devil. If Esau is doing it, these niggas are going to do it. Monkey ass niggas, man. Okay? Now look at this. All right? Ram, as a black queer person, I have to, I've had to deal with these people growing up. Their threats, their taunts, their abuse. These types of people, all right, or these types of black people are the ones that will say, all right, Black people need to stick together and then slaughter whoever doesn't agree with them. I feel nothing for these people and I hope the worst for their careers. You see that? All right. See that? Now, now where, now where do we promote slaughter anybody that doesn't agree with us? Now, ultimately, the Heavenly Father's going to do that, okay, because it's not our words, it's His words. The Heavenly Father is going to, the scripture tells us to wait ye upon him. So we're not physically going to do anything to anybody until the Lord gives the go ahead, man. And everybody's going to know. All right. You see? So where is it at that we're out there actually slaughtering people? Okay. All right. Let me see. This person just said, what? I feel nothing for these people and I hope. The worst for their careers. And this this is a, a nigga faggot, man. Queer person, man. All right? Which that's against God. All right? Look, it says, uh, let me see. Salakia, uh, Akim. It says, I don't want to say I'm ashamed as a black person because that's cringe. But from the inside of the black community, it's really weird how we're letting this slide compared to if anyone that wasn't black and popular will be spewing this dangerous and blatantly wrong ideology. You see that? You see that? All right? Saying this black community, these niggas are lost. Okay? Now, I say all that to say this. I get these to say this. When you go here, look, and I'm not going to show the whole thing. What does that look like to you? It says, female lets dog eat her pussy. This to be frank. Look at that. It's a dog eating this chick out, and it's a fucking nigger woman, man. You see? It's a nigger woman. No, you know what? Yeah, just so you can see a little bit of it. Because this is the vexing part, man. Alright? This is this is vexation of the spirit. But yet, but yet you go to shit like this, and we're the problem. Alright? We're the problem. Alright? Now let's go to, uh, see, let's read it again. It says, and delivered just Lot, 2 Peter 2 and 7, and delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. That shit right there 
is fucking filthy. This is filthy, man. And what, what is our job to do? What is our job? All right. The Lord told us to go out there. All right. Isaiah 58 1, he said, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice, all right, like a trumpet, and shew my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. It's a sin to be this goddamn wicked like this. And this nigga woman wanted to be seen because it's filmed and now it's on the internet airways, man, the internet highways. So she wanted it to be seen. She wanted this filth and wickedness to be seen. All right. And the Lord told us to cry aloud and spare not. We go out there and we get on our people because our people are wicked, man. And it's to shake up the elect that's still in that wicked state of mind amongst them so that they can stop from uh, acting like this, from acting like the wicked of our people that follow after Esau. That has Esau's uh, uh, name written all over it, man. That's something the Edomite would do. All right. So again, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And shew my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. And we're sparing not. All right. Now, now uh, look at this. This is from question. All right. Quora.com. All right. It says, how many girls admit to letting a dog lick them and never tell? All right. It says, uh, June 15th. I'll admit it. Uh, I'll admit to it. Just kind of happened one day. I enjoyed it. And never told anyone. This happened earlier this year. It, it what is probably going to happen again. You see? And then it says uh somebody else. Come on, I clicked on the other comments and said what? No need to feel guilty about it at all. There is nothing wrong with a woman. Alright, it, sh it should be a woman, a woman, alright, a woman or a man enjoying sex with their pets. You see that? These are multiple people with this sick, this sick slack, yeah, Akim, you know, jumping up in my words, but I'm vexed, you know, this is, this is, this is a series of people that are into this, man. It says, thank you. I do enjoy it. And he does too. How would you know a dog? You defiled that dog. All right. Look, it says, would love to chat privately with you and hear more about your newfound interest and share some of my thoughts on the subject. All right. How often do you let him lick you? Do you still feel guilty or accepted it more now? Would you want to do more with him? Send me. See that? This is the place that we are living in. But then again, according to these niggas, all right, because the Edomite is the real nigga, man. According to these niggas, we're the problem. All right. Let me get um Matthew. All right. Salakia, not Matthew. Let me get Mark. Eight. In verse uh, 38, it says, Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Again, remember I said earlier, the Lord is coming back to sever the wicked from among the just. Is, you know, separating that. He's going to deliver the just and destroy the wicked. And whosoever is ashamed of the heavenly father and his son and the words that's spoken through Yahweh Shemashai, guess what? You're going to be left here to eat a missile. Straight up. You, you niggas that's agreeing with Esau that we're the worst thing since ever, that ever there was anything that's bad, that we're just the worst thing since anything, worst thing since Hitler or whatever, you niggas are going to die, man. Because you're, you're with the ways of this world. Where are these people coming up against these nasty ass people doing this stuff, man? We're the only ones calling out wickedness. Alright? Let's get the law on it. This is uh, Leviticus the 18th chapter. Alright? This is Leviticus 18 and verse uh, 22. God covered two things. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination for that queer individual, man. A man's not supposed to lie with a man. A woman's not supposed to lie with a woman. That's an abomination, man. It says, Neither shall thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith. Neither 
shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down thereto. It is confusion. Defile not ye yourselves in any of these things. For in all these the nations are defiled which I cast out before you. You see that? These ways are of the other nations, man. Like I said before, it has Esau's name written all over it. It got these other demonic nations and their sinful ways, their wicked ways, uh, written all over them. These ways, these wicked ways are not meant for Israelites, man. We have our way. All right? We have our own style, so to speak. Like in uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the second chapter, when it says, let us go and uh, oppress the poor righteous man. They say his ways is of another fashion. Yes, we have our own style, so to speak. All right? It says, again, 24, defile not ye yourselves in any of these things. For in all the nations, all these, the nations are defiled, which I cast out before you. Let's go two chapters over. Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon him. So unless you repent and stop, ultimately you're going to be destroyed, man. And if you're ashamed of the words of the Lord coming through his prophets about these matters, you're going to be destroyed, man. All right. And if a man take a wife and her mother, it is wickedness. They shall be burnt with fire, both he and they, that there be no wickedness among you. Verse 15. And if a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death and ye shall slay the beast. For that individual that was saying, um, and the dog likes it too. The dog is defiled. That's why you got to put the dog down now. All right. You had one individual on the internet that had a fish sucking his rod off, man. There's a whole lot of crazy stuff out there. Verse 16. And if a woman approach unto any beast and lie down thereto, thou shalt kill the woman and the beast. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So really, these people should be off the planet. All right. If you're doing this wicked, nasty shit, all right, you better stop and repent immediately because that deals with spirits. The, you, you heard the one individual, uh, once she had it done, she said it was it more than likely it's going to happen again. Yeah, because that's the demonic spirit that's taken over. It wants you to what? Appease that feeling, that flesh. It felt good. It, just because it feels good doesn't mean that it is good. It probably has a sensation, obviously, because you wouldn't be doing it if it didn't, right? Right? People wouldn't be eating pork if it tasted like fucking slop. It was completely nasty, right? But but the fact that the Lord left a stumbling block, he allowed for it to uh, taste good when you season it up to certain people, all right? He left that as a stumbling block, and you got to fight that. Because the Lord said, don't eat pork. Likewise, if, if he left that, he obviously he made, it, he made it a sensation for it to feel good to people. But that's, a, that's something that you got to fight that demon against, man. You got to repent to Yahweh Hashem Shai and stop that. If you're lying with a beast or you're lying with mankind, it got to stop or, you gotta, or you're going to die, man. Point blank, period. All right? With that call, Halloween, Yahweh Hashem Shai by Hashem Rechak with Dash, and as always, to the elect, a double shalom.